Hi, it's me, Cynthia the Yarnaholic. I am uh, getting ready to crochet. I'm making a sweater with the Red Heart Roll With It Sparkle. And uh, this is what it looks like in the roll. You're, you're resting on it. This is it. Okay. It is beautiful. I'm gonna put it back. It's 100% acrylic. And what else? What else can I tell you about it? Because everybody likes information. You use a five millimeter hook. It's a four weight. And that's all. That's it. So I'm making a sweater. I'm not using a pattern. It's just basic blah, blah. Uh, this is all half double crochet. It's 20 inches across. The, that's not gray. That is purple. Can you see it now? For the sunlight behind. There we go. All right. So it's just a basic square. 20 inches by something. But it's half double crochet. And I ended up with 68 stitches across. And so that's the back panel. I don't care about the back panel because I can't see it and that's all that matters. So um, I'm doing the front panel in corner to corner because I can see that. So that is gonna look super cool going diagonal and it's gonna be a drop stitch uh, arms, drop stitch, whatever, because I'm just going to sew these together, um, the two blocks, front, two panels front and back and it'll come off my shoulder so the arms are gonna start like right here i think that's called a drop stitch but um yeah i i don't like measuring things i i measured i measured the panel 20 inches so i could match the other one but like my dimensions like uh where to indent for proper arm placing and all that i don't want to do that because I'm lazy and I don't like math and the less counting for me the better I get easily sidetracked when I'm counting so uh, that is why I had to use so many stitch markers um, during this I had to use stitch markers on the bottom stitch markers in the middle stitch markers on the top because I kept um, forgetting yeah, there's stitch markers all over the place on this thing. So the less counting for me, the better. So corner to corner is my is more my speed. Plus, it's like half the time. It took me uh, three days to make this because there are so many stitches. And then it took me like one hockey game. So that's two and a half hours to make this. And it's halfway done. So I just have to um do three rows up and then start um closing it start shutting it down um yeah and that is that i will update you as i go along i'm getting ready to eat my caramella bar um why do i say um so much it is Sunday, November something. Uh, yesterday, I uploaded my yarn variety. Yeah, my yarn variety. So this, you're probably not going to see this video until like January. <laughs> because uh, I uploaded so many videos that were in my phone from... I think from May, no, I think from, yeah, maybe May, May or June, videos that I was making and not uploading. So I uploaded, I wanna say about 12 videos, but some of them you're not gonna see because they're cooking videos, just family recipes or my own recipes for my son. Um, that might be, you might be able to locate that playlist. I didn't make it private 
I think it's a public playlist. It's called Re My Recipes for Shannon. So it might be on my thing. I, I just unlisted. I published them all as unlisted because nobody wants to see me cooking. Nobody wants to see me do anything except crocheting. And I'm not even too sure about that. <laughs> so that is what I'm making today. And then um, hopefully I can finish this panel today and then tomorrow I'll do the arms. And then the next day, so tomorrow is Monday. I think by Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I should be finishing it up with the neck, sewing it together and then doing the waistband, the bottom of it, whatever you call that. Okay, remember in the other house, I had that, um, that box, what do you call that? Ottoman next to me. And it was full, it was full of yarn for years, like years, and it kept overflowing and overflowing with yarn. Well, I don't have that here. <laughs> uh, we got rid of that because Mark didn't like the clutter. He didn't like the box full of yarn. So, so this is what I have. And that's, <laughs> yeah, um, this is not a bottle of pills. This is a bottle of stitch markers. Stitch markers from Rose Lights Crochets. Um, Oh, let me show you the stitch markers that I made out of other things. Okay, it's not really, oh, I made stuff out of other things. I guess this is from Ethel M Chocolates. Um, that's an, a fancy E. Uh, they put, when you order Ethel M or buy their chocolates, they have, it, it's like, it's metal. Uh, is there a way to ding it? No, <laughs> there's no way for you to know. You're just going to have to take my word for it. It's metal. Um, nope. I don't know. But uh, they, it automat they, they put a hole in it and they attach this to each box of candy, each box of chocolates with a ribbon. So I attach my fancy lobster claws from Michael's and the jumper jumpers, and I made stitch markers out of them. Uh, what else? These were knitting stitch markers from my old neighbor, and I just added a lobster claw to it. Um, so that is nice. Uh, this is a stitch marker from a Halloween yarn thing I got. Uh, this is also from my old neighbor. It was a knitting stitch marker. So I added a claw. And then, let's see. Uh, there's another one. These are ceramic, by the way. I've shown them in other videos but um, like when I got them back in like a long time ago. And let's see, and then the rest of them are from, from Rose's shop, her Etsy shop. And I have, um, I have another bottle full of them in my other room because I, I crochet all over the house. Uh, also, another project I'm working on is I'm making the elf coat by uh, Moral Fiber. I think I mentioned that in another video, but I'm doing it in the Tunisian crochet as the, um, not recipe, oh my gosh, I need to stop with that, um, pattern calls for. So my stitches, this is the first panel I made and it is pretty awful, like it is not lined up, the edges are terrible. And then this is the second one I, wait, Oh no. Oh no, this is worse. Hey, here is an update on this sweater. It <laughs> uh, it looks nice from afar, but um I guess whatever. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. So I wanted this corner to corner side to be my front. And then I wanted the boring half double crochet to be my back. But... The front is three rows shorter than the back. So, if I want this to come true for myself, that this should be my front, I am going to have to, after I finish the arms, uh, go back and add rows. Here is my first arm almost done. This was five rows of decreasing and one row of just regular whatever. And then uh, I did this straight. So this breaks it up and tells me that this is all going to be straight. And then this row breaks it up and tells me that I did some uh, decreases. I think I did all regular rows and then the last row before the break I did decreases uh, four decreases so this was two decreases in each row so one here one there and then the next row would be one here and one on the other side and then I did a straight row and then a row one here one here and then the next row one here one on the other side so those were all the decreases there. And then this, I'm going to have to look. I don't really remember this. I think this was just straight. And then I did one decrease right. Um, this, this row right here was four decreases. Um, so one, two, three, and then one on the other side of that. And then I did a break. And then I'm doing straight crocheting until the cuff, I believe. Not sure, but that's that's the plan. Uh, this, I'm going to have to do a few rounds in this to make it look nice for the neck. And then I got to do the other arm. At some point, uh, this is what I have left. I had, to, I had to break this apart so I could continue the color scheme for the arms i didn't want to just like break that up like start the arm with that so i ripped this out and i i removed it from the skein and i just started with that and that'll go there and that should end in there's a lilac and then there's a pinker color right there so it should there okay um i don't know by the time i get to the second arm the second arm should be this color and this color and then towards the bottom will be this color which matches the back so the bottom of the cuff should be this and that'll blend right into that so that's fine I don't know. I just want to get this over with so I can start my Christmas um, outfit <laughs> for the for the Christmas party that I don't want to go to. Okay, this is strange. Remember earlier when I predicted the outcome of where my yarn would end and where I <laughs> I, I predicted that I would be able to do the entire sleeve until the end of the yarn and then only the cuff would be done in, in the rest of this. Um, it's not going to be an ombre slow fade into the turquoise. It's just going to be a turquoise cuff straight up. <laughs> Uh, but at least I'm almost done. I have to do this. Oh no. Then I have to do, figure out what I'm going to do here. This arm was super easy. I just did whatever I did 
blah, 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 half double crochet. I um, recorded the counts with yarn, yarn, stitch markers, whatever, so I could replicate the other arm. Well, the other arm came and I've been fighting with it for two days. The whole sweater has been like four days, four days, but this one arm has been at least a day and a half. I've ripped it out like four times and it's driving me nuts. So I'm on my final revision of counts for this stupid arm and I'm not gonna do it again. Whatever happens, happens. So I'm putting that away because I can't waste any more Christmas outfit time on that. Cause that's like for January or whatever. So I decided to be an adult and finish the second sleeve of this sweater. You know what, if I don't have time to um, make this sweater, I can just wear this. I mean, I don't have to wear, what's the matter, baby? He got diarrheas, he got diarrheas. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna finish this before I go on to this. I don't know, maybe I'll go back and forth because I'm really excited about starting. I have decided that I'm going to do a solid granny square sweater. All right, well, I've finished the second cuff and now I have this much yarn left out of this, out of two rolls of this. So I need to find yarn in my stash that matches this. I know I have, uh, let's see. Well, I'll just bring it all with me. I found that but it does not look like anything. I, I thought it was like that, but it's not. But I did find that purple right there might match that, but without all the sparkle. I believe I have a skein of that down here somewhere. And, ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I am gonna mix it up, man. So the sparkle is gonna hit a latte. Uh, Cause the colors just go well together. And I can put this around the neck and on the bottom and maybe one or two rows of single crochet around the cuffs. So it'll work. Look at that, it's close enough. There are so many different shades of pink in there that it might match that one. And yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going for it. I am gonna go for it, because I don't want any care on um, Simply Soft. That's a, that's a no-no. That stuff, um, it halos way too easy. Uh, so, ooh, there's that pink right there. That's, no, it's too, too pink. Yeah, it's gonna have to be this. Right here. Uh, I did it, I did it. All right. It looks really 80s looking. I might, um, yeah, that's not long enough for me. So maybe I'm not done, but the arms are perfect. The arms are absolutely delicious. And then the back is the single crochet. And these are my arms. I love them. I'm going to add on to the ribbing and then I'm going to add uh, a quick row or, or two. I'll probably add like six rows of ribbing onto this 
and then like two rows of ribbing onto the front. So it's uniform all around. Does that make sense? But I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do it right now, um, even though <laughs> I'm in the middle of making a Christmas basket. <laughs> uh, oh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do um, blue and white for the bottom, and then I'm gonna do blue when I hit the the basket part. Okay, so there's the f the the bottom. And then when I hit the sides, I'm gonna do all blue, and then I'm gonna make some white, um, white stars or something, and um, maybe I'll put a snowman, some circles, because they're easier, <laughs> and I'll embroider the face on. I don't know, but I have to make it look um, Christmassy, not Christmassy, but um, woo! Winter! Winter! Yeah. So, I'm gonna put that on the back burner for now, because that's January-ish anyway. And I'm gonna finish this sweater, and that's what you will see in the final product! Bye! Okay. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my hair. Alright, I finished it, I think. I'm in my pajamas. So these aren't the pants that I would use. So it's longer in the back and covers my butt. And then it's shorter in the front. Do, 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 do. Um, that is all weird. I don't really care about that. Maybe I should add a little more ribbing in the front. I'm just concerned. Yeah, I just wanted my butt covered. That's all. And now I feel that it is finished. That's a bunch of that. So yeah, it's done. Now it's done. That's it for that. Uh, as far as the neck, you know what? I might. I might close up the neck a little bit like I did with my black tooth sweater. Yep, this will be released in January. So you've already seen my black tooth sweater. Nope, you probably haven't. Well, spoiler alert, I closed up the, <laughs> I closed up the neckline. All right. Um, well, I'm going to finish my sparkly sweater now. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything, and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye.